Oh boy, time for the sex toy club. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Oh, buddy. Rough day. No, this is going. This is going to be the one time where I stay in the car the entire time, like he wants me to. I'm just gonna stare at that dancing hula girl. I want to acknowledge it. Come on, Connor. Have a little bit of fun in your job. We had that little tease from before, but I guess that's it. Hank is my friend. Software instability. What? What does that mean? Um, is that like in the game or? Sexiest the fact that I'm a robot. Sexist androids? I know androids? why you insisted on coming here. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. The sexiest androids in town. I thought you said sexist androids. It's like, what? <laughs> why does he smile at me? Okay. Connor! What the fuck are you doing? I'm just browsing! Can't a guy just look around? I guess not. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I mean, I have nothing to do with well, at least they're clothed, so I don't have to worry about this not being on YouTube. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's Ben. Start from there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin is in there too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Uh, so what do you want to do? Could I just go back to browsing? Is there anything I can interact with? Uh, follow Hank. I don't want to follow Hank. I want to talk to the sex robots. <laughs> uh, let's see. Go around here. Yeah, it doesn't look like the lesson. Okay, fine. Just automatically throw me in here. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> he sexed himself to death? I'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Rude much? Good night, Lieutenant. Examine victim, examine android. Was there a short circuit while they were in each other? Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to. Like, that's the only thing I could think of. Like, actually, re <laughs> recently, I also had a experience with electricity to the crotch while naked. I don't know how it happened, I'm not gonna explain any more than that, but it happened. <laughs> uh, diagnose, I guess. Oh, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. Critically damaged. Uh, this is interesting, they're both out. Cold. Uh, analyze. I said, don't oh, eat it. Hey, oh Connor, you're so disgusting. Why are you always watching? Puke again. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, model WR four hundred. Is that it? Says Michael Graham. Correct. Uh, let's see. Examine this. Cardiac arrest, no sign of cardiac event, heart attack, not cause of death. Not the cause of death. Uh, Michael Graham. Okay. And signs of strangulation. So, did the robot strangle him though? That wouldn't explain how she's unconscious, however. Uh, yeah, victim was strangled. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Guard, cash in the wallet. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. 
Can I do that if it's unconscious? Try. Looks like it. Connect. Reactivation required, oh boy. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. And, and of course it. it's in the stomach. It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Well, just connect them two tubes. I'm a physician. Oh boy. You were damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I can't remember. You're alone in the room. Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <laughs> there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. I'm mad that that wasn't an actual minute. In this place. Deviants aren't I tried to, to rush through those answers and they didn't give me the minute I was promised. Some other way. Well, but there's another yeah, android. We know where to find them. In the attic. In the I'm gonna go ask the manager questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for Android Eyewitness. Oh boy, I get to talk to them. Okay. The victim? This is gonna go over well. He came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They really need really human fingerprints. Oh, I can't act, I can't take them out unless I have a human. Alright, Hank, where are you? Lieutenant Anderson, it is it's very important that Excuse I. Me, Lieutenant. <laughs> you come here a second? Could you rip off no, your hand, on. Lieutenant? Maybe. It's for my studies. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just it's my birthday! <laughs> my god. I just love his voice. Oh god. I'll pay you back later. Maybe. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Probe, uh, this is gonna be awkward. L1, triangle, why are you so moist? What the hell are you doing? Uh, locate the suspect. A blue haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. Is that it? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Okay, we'll go with this one. Let's try this one. Oh wow, he just teleported over here. Uh, let's go. What do we got? Some more hello. Turn back into the club. 
It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. Uh, which way was it? I don't know. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue? Uh, let's see. Have we seen this guy before? I can't turn the camera around. Check another android. Okay, suspect is out of sight. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Okay, this one looks slightly different from all the others. This one might be the correct one. Uh, is this one got sight? Check another android. Okay. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this. Oh, money hello, but uh, it. god darn it! Wait, where was the connect thing? Oh, just ask Hank. Get in there. Uh, go for it. Triangle. Turn to to the red room. Okay, go for red. Da -da 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 Let's see. Just gonna examine one of them in here, I guess. Ask Hank. Sorry for like blowing all your money. You think they would check his credit card every time he made a purchase, but nope. Turn to the blue room. Okay, so run in here. Or just briskly walk. That's fine too. Not like we're under a time limit or anything. Let's go talk to him. And we see. Out of sight, great. No. I lost its track again. Uh, over here. Come on, dude, why are you just staring at his crotch? Out of sight. Is wait, is it out of sight? Out of sight. Cool. Thanks for telling me only like halfway through. Ugh. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Uh, go over here then. We got ourselves triangle. It hid in a room. Uh, private staff only, but is this the room they were hiding in? Well, this one's available. Can we enter any of we can? We could. Was it this room, though? It left the room. I don't know what the room- Like, it's still hiding here? Is that it? I hope they don't let me examine already examined androids, because that's going to be a big waste of stink of time. We saw her, didn't we? Uh, we It's out of sight. I think we're done. God darn it. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Uh, I mean, we're gonna run out of time. I don't understand. Janitor. That might be helpful. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Flip through the staff door. That's what I was trying to do. So we gotta break open the staff door. Follow me. Oh, fucking a. This is crazy. At least that one was free. Oh, a different looking room. We got it. Wait. I'll take it from here. I'm gonna bust it down. Oh, there she is. Search where- oh, there's a bunch of them. Maybe it was just, like, one that was on standby. They could just be standing Shit. still. We're too late. No, we're not. Uh, let's see. I know, like, she's just hiding somewhere. Just gotta figure out where. Wait, what? Find the lawyer, Deviant. Reconstruct Deviant's path to search warehouse. We can't be too late, can we? Am I actually too late? That'd be unfortunate. 
Because I was just getting really sick and confused. RE9 reference, okay. Uh, any one of you? Christ, look at him. I think so. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Want to reform society? Uh, go over here maybe? Nothing. Are we actually too late? Because they didn't give me an actual minute to talk to that other android. And maybe this wasn't a real six minutes I had. Like, come on! That's not fair. If I don't find her in here, I'm gonna be stinking angry. Uh, what was I looking at? Uh, there's just not that many things to examine. Analyze. Go ahead and look it again, that's what you do. And Hank is always watching. You always gotta do it as slow as humanly possible. Uh, blue blood droplets. Uh, what else is there? People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore, everybody just gets an android. Uh... Look what you want, they screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Yeah, it does beat me. No. Oh boy, Hank is all cranky. Cranky Hanky is what they call him. Nobody calls him that. In here? Oh, stupid magazine, I don't care. It was cool when we first learned how to read. Now I just don't even care anymore. It's like the real world. Is there anything else we could do? Search for the blue? Apparently she's still in here. There's nothing to see in here though. There's something that I'm like not getting here. I messed up. That thing is just a book. Unless she's hiding in a book, I think we're done for. Is she just hiding here in plain sight? This is like the weirdest game of hide and seek ever. It's like one time I was playing hide and seek. I remember like a million years ago uh, when I was younger. Um, I played hide and seek, and I literally just put a box on top of my head and stood in plain sight. Like I oh hello you're here. <laughs> Um, but basically I was just hiding in plain sight and I was just pretending to be some sort of inanimate object and it actually worked. I was the last one to be found. I was standing in plain sight, just had a box on my head. Uh, the original box on head week. Well, not really. <laughs> like, that was just the most nonchalant way of being like, oh hey, I found her. X, O, O, X's and O's. Hello! Uh, I've heard of getting screwed, but this is ridiculous! <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my god, that's what you get when you- Oh wait, there's multiple androids here? Like, multiple awake ones? Uh, knock over, pull. I don't know, pull! Oh jeez. Hello. X? Oh Jesus. A uh, kick, throw. This looks more fun. Okay, ouch. Oh boy! Oh dip! Oh Jesus! But we're both fighting one. Oh God! Oh jeez, Hank, you didn't sign up for this. Get up, stinking dude! Oh snap! Oh, they got—he got, he got double team. X X X X X. All right, I'm not gonna let these two get away. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like they are relying on each other. They're not going to leave without both of them, so that's good. Well, we have one of them here, then they'll both stay. But now I don't want to have to fight both of them. God darn it, it's not fair. Oh, jeez. God darn it. We have we rented all those other sex bots. Can't like we have them come in and help us fight? Oh my god, they're so stinking angry. Oh god. I don't want to shoot or spare. I'm going to get in trouble. When that man 
broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Probably better this way. Oh, Hank actually liked that choice. So yeah, it goes without saying that like a lot of this could be uh, correlated to real life events. I'm gonna try not to get all uh co not con not controversial, but just like not all real talk here. Because I don't know what the comments will entail if I start talking about stuff, but like, um, when I was, when I, I kind of wanted to bring this up right at the beginning when I thought it said sexiest androids in town, and I thought it said sexist android, and then that was just sort of something that I thought of. It's interesting how, uh, they make androids that look all completely different from one another, and they weren't just like one specific race or ethnicity or something like that. I just thought that was interesting. So, is this a future in which now the only racism that exists is human versus android? I'm sure that's not the case. But it's interesting how they're continuing to have... Um, like, it's just another example of how these robots are truly alive. Because they have, like, not only do they have emotions and intelligence and, like, capabilities of learning new things, but they're all completely different from one another. We have ones that are gay and have, have actually romantic feelings for other androids maybe they could have romantic feelings for another humans who knows but it's um something that's really interesting is that hank hank supported my decision right there i wasn't expecting that uh he definitely didn't like this place i i saw that that was plain as day but i'm interested to see like maybe uh in the end, Connor and Hank could reform the police, or just reform, uh, maybe they could be the breaking point on how, uh, humans and robots could be treated as equals, because he actually was okay with, um, when you listen to their stories, they're human, they're just alive, and you can't deny them of that desire to be alive, because it's real and it's relatable. I'm sure I could be wording this a lot better, but I think the game is going to do a good job at explaining it as time goes on so let's just keep moving forward and hopefully we can get a refund for all those sex robots <laughs>